This is the V on the river. You have all the full band, but not one coin. Examine with me. Is not normal, but it's error. The mark. The uh, off center, uh, the date. And if you combine it with a full band, because PCGS knows all the FB. Then 3500 you can get for some and the thing about the started in 65 it's the copper nickel because before that it was a little bit silver and it's 30 percent and i think i have the 65 with a little bit silver just look at the coins they have all the full band with a unique error so all these coins that I'm showing they are a lot worth so search for them don't have to see a double P, but I will see it sometimes. Otherwise, it's gonna bo be boring. See the doubling. Again. With the FB. You have these two here. A fancy two or what? <coughs> these two here. The date uh, something happened there. I don't know what. And also on the top of Liberty. A tiny P in strange form. No, I cut in the air. Don't know from what. I see it's like a doubling. Yes. In God we trust. EN is the most visible. And doubling the P mark. This is also a doubling because we trust, but the doublings are nothing because if you have the FB then it's impossible to have uh, a doubling the fb is full band it's perfectly striked but from the 50s uh, from the 50 coins roosevelt coins that i have now the they are almost all fb with varieties this is 65 it looks like it's it has some silver in it because of the color compare with the others the greening that means there is silver and this triangle here is nothing worse because it's in 1930 even if it's a variety 